Good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Diksha, and I will be your host for this event. We are excited to have you all here to learn about principle of art. We hope that we hope that everyone has their sheet and pencils ready, since we want this to be a collaborative and interesting experience for you. Now, I like to share the session's guideline with you all. We'll put everyone on mute except for our speaker to avoid any disruptions. Currently, the chat is disabled. So when necessary, we will turn it on so that everyone may post their responses there. At the end, there will be 10 minutes of questionnaire session, then we'll enable the chat for everyone. The session is being recorded as well, which we will upload to our YouTube channel. So in case you missed any of our previous webinars, you can watch our sessions on a YouTube channel. Also, there will be five minutes of assessment that must be completed in order for you to receive your certificate for this webinar. So please stay until the end. Now I'd like to introduce the speaker for today, Ms. Shweta Gupta. Ms. Shweta Gupta is an author, an artist, and a performing poet. She runs an art, art institute in Noida. Ms. Shweta is a passionate about teaching art in order to make people understand that art is also a mainstream subject. Recently, she won Ratne in Hind Award in Folk Art category organized by Aura Planet. She performed poetry in recently organized literature festival by Asian Literary Society. Many of her poems got published in various anthologies. So ma'am, I appreciate you coming in today and sharing your experience with us. The session is all yours. Ma'am, please remove your, please unmute yourself. Thank you, Diksha. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, everyone. I am Shweta Gupta, and I welcome all my esteemed guests, guests in today's session. It is my extreme pleasure to conduct this session of Principles of Art on behalf of SAR Education. Please be there with me for next one and a half hour. As it will... Good evening. Good evening. As it will um, give you all an insight about the principles of art and what importance they hold in, a, in creating an artwork. Also, how they can play an important role in integ integrated yeah. learning of art. I'm sure uh, after this session, you all will be uh, looking, uh, making artwork with different perspectives. Before starting the session, I would like to have uh, ask a question from you all. How many of you are aware about principles of art? Uh, Diksha, please uh, uh, enable the chat box. Yes, ma'am. So everyone can everyone can have some answer. answers on principles of art. Whatever you uh, have an understanding about principles of art, you can post it in the chat, chat box. Please write down your answer in the chat box. Um, can you please repeat the question? Uh, what what all understanding do you have about principles of art? And you can you please name some principles of art if you are aware of? Yes, Akanksha. It's the right answer. Anyone else? So let me continue. Yes. Uh, let me continue. 
uh, every art form has its own unique language like a musician communicates through notes i got your answer guys now can we have uh, our attention on session please every art form has its own unique language like a musician communicates through notes as we all know there are seven notes in uh, a music and musician uh, communicates through their music composed using those notes similarly a performing artist communicates through expressions when we uh, go to watch a performing artist or a performance by a performing artist we majorly uh, note their expressions they communicate through their expressions and a visual artist communicates through its art composition kisi bhi artist ka hum art uh, painting dekhte hain to hum ye samajhne ki koshish karte hain ki artist humse kya communicate karna cha raha hai which he makes using the elements and principles of art the elements and principles of art are the foundation of the language we use to talk about art the elements are the visual tools that the artist uses to create a composition humne kal ke session mein kiya tha ki jo uh, ek artwork ko create karne ke liye tools hote hain those are elements of art these are lines shape color value form texture and space kal ke session mein hum ye sara kuch detail mein discuss kar chuke hain already today we will talk about the principles of art the principles of art represents how the elements of art are used by an artist to create a composition to and to help convey the artist's message to the people the principles of arts are art are balance contrast emphasis movement pattern proportion and unity or variety the use of these principles can help determine whether a painting is successful or or whether or not the painting is finished so let's start with very first very first principle of art which is balance anyone uh, would like to answer about what balance is नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दीक्षा नेक्स्ट स्लाइड बिफोर गोइंग अ हेड आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट एवरी पार्टिसिपेंट प्लीज ड्रॉ दिस काइंड ऑफ बॉक्स ऑन द शीट यू आर हैविंग विद यू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड next slide draw a square box on the sheets you are having with you and divide the box into eight equal parts can we move on to next slide now we'll talk about the first principle of art which is balance balance refers to how the elements of art all the seven elements of art relate to each other within the composition in terms of their visual weight to create a visual equilibrium means the one side of the composition should not look heavier than the other side of the composition so balance can be achieved in three ways first we have a symmetrical balance next slide diksha
no no not this one previous slide okay here we see the symmetrical balance symmetrical balance in uh, is a balance in which both sides of a composition have the same elements in the same position like a mirror image if you divide your composition into two halves both the halves have similar elements and, uh, and like a mirror image like you see yourself in mirror next slide now we have this painting by leonardo da vinci it is named as the last supper is the very good example of balance in artwork as we can see uh, the jesus christ is in the middle of the artwork he is the center point of the artwork and to the to his left and to his right the visual weight of an artwork is equally distributed any questions on this everyone uh, getting my point as we can see like these are also uh, there are four doors on both the sides and the the person sitting next to the jesus christ on the left hand side and on the left uh, right hand side are also same in number what else uh, we can see in this painting yes we have one window on the left side and we have uh, one window on the right side yes akanksha yes equal number of doors yes now we'll talk about asymmetrical balance can we have the next slide diksha no this is not the next slide okay fine fine not an issue asymmetrical balance in which the composition is balanced due to the contrast of any element of art for example a large circle on one side of a composition might be balanced by a small square on the other side asymmetrical balance may be don't have mirror image a one side of an artwork is uh, is made up with an, one element and the other side of the artwork is made up with another element it's not necessary on the both sides of the artwork the elements are same one side we can have circle and other side we can have square we don't have symmetry but we have a balance in the artwork uh, i mean to say both sides of the artwork look looks equally uh, balanced one side is not heavier than other side like uh, we can see in this painting the boating party by an american artist mary cassatt is another dynamic example of asymmetrical balance with the dark figure in the foreground this we have a dark figure in the foreground i hope all you all remember foreground middle ground and background uh, that with the dark figure in the foreground balanced by the lighter figure and particularly light sail in sail in the upper left hand corner यहाँ पे हमने सारे लाइट कलर्स यूज किए हैं और यहाँ पे हमने डार्क कलर यूज किए तो यहाँ हमने कलर से विजुअल वेट को बैलेंस किया है इस आर्टवर्क में नेक्स्ट स्लाइड यस लाइक अ स्टारी नाइट नेक्स्ट वी हैव अ रेडियल सिमेट्री it is a kind of radial balance in which elements are equally spaced around a central point as in the spokes coming out of the hub of a bicycle tire can i have another example of radial symmetry it's a very common example anyone yes not not fan fan is not a radial symmetry 
Fan width, yes, windmill can be. Fan width, four spokes can be a radial symmetry, but not with the three spokes. It's a, it's not a radial symmetry. Yes. Yes, we have it in our Indian flag, Ashok Chakra. Yes, sun rays. This is a painting by Edward uh, Munich. Uh, it uh, it depicts radial symmetry created by the sunlight that spreads out from the bright center and fills the entire frame. In this painting, sun is rising beyond the water, and as we can see, वो uh, जो sun rays हैं वो water के नीचे भी equally distributed है. Yes, wheel is the right answer. Okay, let's move on to the next principle of art. Next slide. Contrast. Anyone would like to answer what contrast is? Okay. Yes. A real life example of contrast. Yes, day and night. So, uh, yes, chessboard can be. Yes. Let's under understand what contrast is. Contrast is the difference between the elements of art in a composition such that each element is made stronger in relation to the other. When placed next to each other, contrastic elements commands the viewer attention. Areas of contrast are among the first places that a, that viewer's eyes is drawn. किसी भी artwork में हम सबसे पहले उसके colors से ही attract होते हैं. And what contrast artist has used in the painting वो भी हमें attract करता है. Contrast can be achieved by keep placing the animal uh, elements of art next to each other. Negative positive space is also an example of contrast. Apart from colors, what what all can be in contrast? Can anyone tell? Apart from color contrast, this value is a color contrast. I'm talking about we, what all contrast we can have. Yes, shape size differences. Okay. Yes, we have heavy and light. Yes, big and small. size and shape yes okay let me show you one painting and then i'll ask question based on those that painting next slide diksha this is a, a room half of which is painted with bright colors and half of which is left blank as a plain white room 
so it is a work of french artist named tilt uh, this room has been named tilt spanish room the artist has created two sections in the same room which are in striking contrast with each other wild in an inhabit un inhabited graffiti covers one side and the other side is left pristine and untouched to give off almost a clinical vibe so what what kind of uh, background are you feeling in this uh, artwork aapko plain plain side kya feel kar rahi hai aur colored side kya feel kar rahi hai is artwork mein ओके, यस पीस एंड क्योस ब्राइट एंड कलरफुल साइड सिंप्लिसिटी एंड इन कंट्रास्ट टू सिंप्लिसिटी व्हाट अनदर एलिमेंट इज देयर यस Hmm. I'm getting very good answers. Good job, audience. Okay, let's move on to the next principle of art. Next slide. Next principle of art is emphasis. anyone would like to uh, describe emphasis in with perspective to art yes 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 unique let me define it for you emphasis is the most interesting principle of art emphasis is a principle of art which occurs any time in an element of a piece is given dominance by the artist किसी भी एलिमेंट को बाकी आर्टवर्क के कंपैरिजन में जब हम एक डोमिनेंट फैक्टर दे देते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड एम्फेसिस इन द आर्टवर्क इन अदर वर्ड आर्टिस्ट मेक्स दैट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्क स्टैंड आउट इन ऑर्डर टू ड्रॉ द व्यूअर्स आई देयर फर्स्ट लाइक जो पिक्चर हमारे पास स्क्रीन पे है उसमें बाकी सारे टमेटोज रेड है ओनली देर इज अन ग्रीन टमेटो राइट सो हम विल सी दैट फर्स्ट विल विल सी the green tomato first because rest all elements are similar in the artwork yes center of focus like ghar pe jo walls hoti hai hamare agar puri wall clean ho aur us pe ek halka sa spot bhi lag jaye to hamari nazar us spot pe jati hai hamesha rest of the wall pe nahi jati hai so that is like a real life example of an emphasis emphasis is used in an artwork to attract the viewer's attention to a particular area or object this is typically the focal point as all all of you have answered some of you have answered focal point or main subject of the artwork for instance in a portrait painting the artist usually wants you to see the person's face first they will use techniques such as color contrast and placement to make sure that this area is where your eye is attracted to first किसी भी पेंटिंग में या पोर्ट्रेट पेंटिंग में अगर आर्टिस्ट को आपका अटेंशन फेस की तरफ ज्यादा ड्रॉ करना है तो 
वो उस फेस को उन कलर्स को यूज करके हाईलाइट करेगा कि आप फेस ही पहले देखें एंड पोर्ट्रेट पेंटिंग में फोकल पॉइंट फेस ही होता है नेक्स्ट स्लाइड बिलो इज द पेंटिंग सनराइज बाय क्लॉड मोनेट दिस इज द पेंटिंग सनराइज बाय क्लॉड मोनेट पूरी पेंटिंग में आप बताइए कहा एम्फेसिस है वेर इज द एम्फेसिस एंड वाई यस सन बट वाई कैन आई हैव द रीजन okay please justify your answer with reason also yes the because the whole background is grayish okay uh, let me explain it for you yes i got uh, right answers too below is the painting sunrise by claude monet in this painting your attention is drawn towards the vivid orange sunrise which stands out from the weak blues greens and grays in the background as uh, one of you have answered uh, monet used color saturation in this case to emphasize the sunrise jo hmm. claude monet hai wo chahte hi hai ki aap is painting mein sunrise ko hi dekhe इसलिए उन्होंने बाकी सारा बैकग्राउंड वीक कर दिया है वीक कलर से यूज किया है ओनली द ऑरेंज सन इज एम्फिजाइजिंग इन दिस पेंटिंग नाउ कैन वी मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड द नेक्स्ट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ आर्ट इज मूवमेंट इट टेक्स योर राइट फॉर अ राइड इन एन आर्ट वर्क Yes, Satish ji, you are right. Now we are moving on to next uh, principle of art, that is movement. Movement is the result of using elements of art such that they move the viewer side around and within the image. A sense of movement can be created by diagonal or curvy lines, either real or implied. by edges by the illusion of space and by repetition and by energetic mark making kisi bhi artwork mein how our, how our eyes goes through that artwork is called movement our paintings cannot physically move but we can put in can we can paint in a way which gives the illusion of movement physically to koi painting move nahi karti hai बट हम उसमें इस तरीके के इल्यूजन क्रिएट करते हैं जिससे हमें उसमें मूवमेंट का इल्यूजन होता है दिस इन्वॉल्व अरेंजिंग शेप्स इन अ वे विच लीड्स द व्यूअर्स फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू नेक्स्ट इन योर पेंटिंग और यूजिंग सर्टेन टेक्निक्स विद योर ब्रश टू मेमिक द मूवमेंट एंड स्टारी नाइट इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मूवमेंट इन एन आर्ट वर्क राइट yes visualization of cyclone is also a right answer whirlpool whirlpool is also a, a, an example of movement tornado yes so yes so what kind of movement are we seeing in this painting spiral and yes air and they, yes wavy tsunami to nahi hai
whirling movement of celestial objects good answer okay any more answers coming in or shall we move on to next slide pattern comes next to add a rhythm to your artwork yes avita all right okay uh we are moving on to the next uh, principle of art that is pattern can anyone define pattern anyone would like to define pattern not in an artwork even in daily life or around yes the repetition of shapes and lines okay okay yes daily routine is a good answer we have a pattern in our offices also can anyone explain how workplace pe bhi pattern hota hai okay lunch at the same time is yes, period in school वर्क प्लेस पे पैटर्न होता है ना वी ज्वाइन एज ट्रेनी देन वी बिकम एग्जीक्यूटिव देन वी बिकम मैनेजर देन वी बिकम सीनियर मैनेजर एंड हायर आर की गोज ऑन दिस इज ऑल्सो अ पैटर्न ओके सेम प्रेशर बाय सीनियर ऑफिशियल्स फॉर एनी वर्क नाइस आंसर let me explain it for you uh, okay i'm going to explain pattern pattern is the uniform repetition of any element or of art or any combination thereof hum combination mein bhi patterns repeat karte hain like one square one triangle and one circle then again one square one triangle one circle this is also a pattern anything can be turned into a pattern through repetition some classic patterns are spiral grids weaves and tangles the most popular form of pattern drawings in which abstract art uh, in which an abstract or representational outline is divided into different areas each of which contains a unique pattern is zentangle uh, as an artist you all know what zentangle doodling these all are pattern arts now here i am taking a 5 minutes break maine aapse sections divide karaye the yes mandalas and zentangles 
all of you have divided the sections on your sheet so jit, jitne bhi principles humne padh liye hain abhi tak based on that please draw an artwork on your sheet so can i repeat them for you first one is balance that is of three types symmetrical asymmetrical and radians radial second one is contrast third one is emphasis fourth is movement and fifth is pattern so i'm giving you 10 minutes please draw an artwork related to these uh, principles of art in the boxes you have divided in on your uh, drawing sheet whatever you uh, thought of drawing uh, keeping these principles in mind please you are free to draw I hope everyone is drawing.
I'll uh, you can show it to me in the end of the session. You have three more minutes, and then we'll continue with the rest of the two uh, principles of art. सतीश सर आप दिखा सकते हैं आपने क्या बनाया है हाँ दिखाइए सतीश जी इट्स नॉट विजिबल टू मी थोड़ा कैमरा के पास लाइए इट्स अ पैटर्न राइट किस चीज से पैटर्न बनाया आपने आई एम नॉट एबल टू सी प्रॉपरली आप बताएंगे चैट बॉक्स में आपने किस चीज का पैटर्न बनाया है Yes, ma'am. I have made the design of like the embroidery. Uh, okay, can, these yeah. are the these are doodling patterns. Yes. Yeah. बहुत अच्छा बनाया है सतीश जी आपने. It's really nice. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. May I off my cam? Yes, I can see Aruna Ji's artwork. Wow. Good job, Aruna Ji. You have made emphasis pattern, movement, and contrast. Can I have a closer look on Kanchan's artwork? Okay, pattern. Uh, 
ओके जी कंचन जी नाइस नाउ वी आर मूविंग ऑन टू रेस्ट ऑफ द टू प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ आर्ट and before uh, before moving on to next principle of art i would like to show a famous painting by a dutch artist who makes pattern art md escher is a dutch artist who makes pattern art he developed an art following the principles of tessellation tessellation is when we make a make a pattern which fits in with each other leaving no spaces right covering a plane using one or more geometric shapes with no overlaps and no gaps usme overlaps bhi nahi hote hain aur gaps bhi nahi hote hain that is called tessellation as you can see here it is a lizard tessellation and it is is one of masterpiece next principle of art is proportion and scale scale is uh, scale is used in art to describe the size of one object in relation to another like uh, big object in relation to small object and proportion has a very similar definition but tends to refer to the relative size of a part within a whole like we are comparing our uh, body parts only so legs are uh, longer in proportion to hands तो किसी भी किसी भी होल के पार्ट्स को अगर हम कंपेयर करते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रोपोर्शन एंड व्हेन वी कंपेयर द साइज ऑफ टू थिंग्स दिस इज कॉल्ड स्केल एनी एनी एग्जांपल्स यू वुड लाइक टू गिव फॉर प्रोपोर्शन एंड स्केल फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द सराउंडिंग्स ओके ओके विंडो आई डोन ह्यूमन बॉडी तो है ही बिल्डिंग्स फॉर स्केल यस ओके this is a ratio number of boys and girls in a class anyways we can consider this also yes book and blackboard good one proportion we uh, when we cook food we take measured up, measured amount of spices pizza yes pizza is uh, good answer okay now draw something uh, showing proportion and scale on your drawing sheet i'll give you 3 minutes draw something on your drawing sheet uh showing scale and proportion
yes i can see alpna ji you have drawn two pencils one is small and one is bigger lemon you have drawn lemon for proportions what's this this is a spoon can i have a closer look on your artwork aruna ji is this a spoon with a cherry on it yes ma'am a big spoon and a small cherry okay great okay thank you um now we are moving on to our next slides showing artworks for scale and uh, proportion this is a painting of your smite valley by albert uh, by start it is a example of scale or proportion any answers who will give me the answer it is a example of scale or proportion okay yes alpna is right so it's an example of scale yes as we are comparing uh, bigger mountains with smaller trees and wildlife in the foreground bigger mountains in the background and trees in the middle ground and wildlife in the foreground let me show you the next slide this is a 3d uh, caricature by a caricature artist gerardo filstein as you can see uh, he has created a sculpture with a very big and giant feet in proportion to other his, his whole body which is smaller than his feet yes this is a proportion in which he has a giant feet and a smaller body let's move on to our next uh, next and last principle of art which is uh, unity and variety anyone would like to tell seeing this slide what is unity and what is variety what are their understanding towards it okay okay variety yes our india is also an example of unity and variety we have so uh, so many variety of people still united with each other yes very patta 
yes different part working together in a composition is also प्लीज म्यूट योर वीडियो ऑडियो let me explain it for you unit is a principle of art which refers to how well the all the visual elements will work together elements which are in unity should have some kind of logical progression or relationship it should look just look like it works if there is an element which is not in harmony with the rest of the artwork it will it should stick out and be jarring to look at kind of off note in a song but where we have an off note in a song it's a variety monet's painting uh, next slide this is a artwork in unity by claude monet monet's painting demonstrates harmony in color with mostly greens and blues used this is also known as analogous color scheme as we all, we all can see in this uh, artwork only shades of blue and green are used which is which are also analogous colors as they are placed next to each other in the color wheel so this whole artwork uh, goes along with with the viewers eye and we have a feeling of uh, harmony in the artwork now you uh, now you have 5 minutes to draw something which uh, gives unity and variety in one artwork yes nature's beauty has unity and variety both simultaneously yes satish ji you can show your artwork a garden of different flowers is variety but it they can have unity in colors or in size
Yes, unity of trees makes a jungle. In jungle also we have variety of trees, but yes, all they are plants. So that is a one factor which we call unity. Yes, a fist is unity and fingers are variety. Good one. Are we all done with your artwork? Are you all done with your artwork? Anyone would like to show? Those who want to show, they can show their artwork. Yes. A bit closer to camera, Poonam ji. Okay. Uh, you have made a family, right, Punamji? Actually, I have made uh, different patterns that uh, you okay. have given. You have given, and these are the, you know, uh, different shapes and uh, mm -hmm. same same flower. It's it's a sunflower, I guess, right? It's lotus. Sun. Lotus. It's lotus. Okay. In different okay. sizes. Okay. Fine. And. These are all the patterns, you know, uh, as you uh, given us scale, proportion. Yes, I can see that. Okay. Now I have a painting for you and uh, I'll show you the painting. And you all will tell uh, what all principles of art you can identify in that painting. Next slide, uh, Diksha. What all principles of art you can identify in this painting and where? Okay. Movement in leaves. Patterns on scarf, yes. Okay. Asymmetric balance. 
someone has answered asymmetric balance okay yes it can be a contrast where do you find asymmetric balance where proportion you where you find proportion yes contrast color in scarf light colors balance emphasis on lady pattern in scarf yes okay proportion in mountains can we have the answers please diksha yes ma'am go to the slide again diksha can we have the answers on this uh, on a click of a mouse uh, no ma'am not able okay yeah so we have rhythm in uh, rhythm and pattern in scarf we have contrast in uh, her uh, lipstick and shirt dress color and or we can have we have contrast in her shades and lipstick movement yes in leaves asymmetrical balance one side is balanced with hills and other side is balanced with uh, the lady in the foreground uh, the blue color of uh, her shirt is emphasis so i hope everyone is now clear about uh, principles of art now for another 10 minutes if you have any questions you can ask please write down your question in the chat box no questions
Ma'am, let's wait for two to three minutes. Okay, fine. Namita, you want summary of elements or you want summary of principles? Uh, Lena, SAR books have a very, uh, SAR books have a series of art books for pre-primary and uh, you can uh, refer them for uh, teaching art to uh, your students in pre-primary. Um, Namita ma'am wants to know the principle of uh, principle okay. of art. Yes. Principles of art are balance, uh, movement, emphasis, contrast, proportion and scale, variety, and pattern. Monica is asking for a feedback link. Is there any? No, ma'am. No feedback or attendance link. Okay, let me brief the balance for you. Uh, balance is uh, in an artwork which, which balance, which is, which is the visual weight of an artwork which we can see. If we uh, divide our art, our artwork from the middle of uh, the artwork, and if we find both the elements as a mirror image, both the sides as a mirror image of each other, it is called symmetrical balance. Like we have in this painting, uh, can we have the painting, first painting in the presentation? Ma'am, just give me a minute. This is a painting by Leonardo da Vinci named Last Supper, in which we can see Jesus Christ as a focal point and the middle point of the painting. And on, on his left and on his right, all the elements present in the artwork are visually balanced. Like we have four doors on left side and we have four doors on right side. Similarly, we have one window each, on each of the side. And even the people sitting beside uh, Jesus Christ are also same in number uh, le on left side also and right side also. This is creating a visual balance, a visual uh, a symmetrical balance in an artwork. So it is called symmetrical balance. Uh, next painting, please. A call.
um, so we are going to we were uh, talking about balance uh, now this is a painting by uh, american artist mary cassatt which uh, describes a symmetrical balance like we have dark color in the foreground and light color in the balanced by light color in light color in the background and then we have radial balance uh, next slide uh, diksha this is the radial balance in which uh, radial balance is the is an in which elements are equally spaced around a central point like we have sun sun ke charo taraf rays hoti hain to wo equally central point se equally uh, aari hoti hain like we have a spokes in cycle like we have ashok chakra these are all the examples of radial symmetry i hope uh, now you have you are clear with the balance So, uh, Shweta, ma'am. Okay. So, I think we should start our assessment round. Fine. But before that, I want to thank you for conducting such an informative and interesting workshop on principle of art for our educators. Thank you so much, ma'am.